Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to the long-awaited vlog from San Diego. We went there for an American Chemical Society meeting that took place this March, and we got to present our research. Precursors end up transforming two terminal species. Other than the conference, we, of course, went to different places, went to the beaches, explored the neighborhood a lot, especially downtown San Diego, tasted some delicious food. We had Thai, we had Mexican cuisine, we had some delicious seafood. Everything was just amazing. We also got to go to the Birch Aquarium. So we saw a lot of ocean life. We touched a sea cucumber even, and also went to the La Jolla Beach so we saw sea lions and various native bird species as well. All of us really said that we didn't want to go back to the rainy South Bend. But before we get started, let's transport ourselves back to Chicago, Illinois. Hello! So before we are going to go to the airport, we're gonna get Giordano's Pizza. We're right now in Chicago. The bean is right there. Wait, where? Let me introduce you to our crew. We have Brenda, who came along to spend some time with us in Chicago. Lalo is Angie's husband. He also came along. Angie is my lab mate, so she and I went to San Diego. Of course, I have to introduce myself, and you'll know the story of this video sooner than later. Then Jean is also my lab mate, so she was also presenting in San Diego. And then we were joined by Colin, who is an undergraduate researcher in our lab. But back to Chicago, we were originally going to go to Giordano's, but it was so busy that we went to Luminati's instead. I'm sure it was just as good. And then we took the L to get to the airport, which is really convenient in Chicago. So that's where we reunited with Jean. And then we got to our Airbnb. Yeah, we were pretty tired, but I got to film just a little bit. Of course, you have to see the bathroom. Everybody likes to see the bathroom, so here it is. Our Airbnb was pretty small, um, but we had everything we needed. Welcome to our tiny house. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Jean, tell us your thoughts. This is how it is <laughs> when you book cheap Airbnb. I'm trying to be positive, but then look at the stairs. Please look at the angle. So the communal decision was to move Jean's mattress downstairs and uh, in the end it all felt like a big sleepover, which I'm not complaining about. Um, but yeah, we did end up keeping each other awake from time to time and teaching each other different words in our own languages. Jean. Hello, it's our first morning in San Diego, super exciting. We are going to go to the conference, but first we'll grab breakfast somewhere. Also, last night I tried to seduce everybody with my t-shirt. Not sure it worked, so we'll see if my next outfit is gonna work better. After we all got ready, we did some brief sightseeing, mostly because it was on the way to the coffee shop. I really enjoyed looking at some of the buildings. You know, all, a lot of architecture in San Diego is very unique. I also enjoyed seeing this water fountain. There is something about water fountains in general that I really like. I think that they are very peaceful and I find them very calming. But then uh, we got coffees and pastries and uh, went back home. So I am going to the conference, it's day one. The girls are still getting ready, so I went ahead. I'm also gonna see Iris' poster, my friend's poster. I also gotta register. What else? Potentially meet some people from my undergrad, we'll see. There were a lot of people in San Diego in the downtown area who were there specifically for the American Chemical Society conference. What's interesting about San Diego is that it is atypical for a city in California because it actually has a proper downtown area. On that day, Angie also presented her work. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to make a video, but I do have this picture and I promise you she did amazing. 
we followed our advisor's recommendation who has been in San Diego a few times already and after Angie's presentation we went to El Cabron which is a Mexican cuisine so we went there for some burritos and tacos they also had a salsa bar which was a really nice feature it's day two in San Diego. I'm going to look at posters and also later on meet up with my undergraduate faculty and students. Most of them I don't know because I graduated three years ago. Next to the poster session, there was also an exhibit space and I particularly fell in love with the dishwasher for laboratory glassware. But unfortunately, our advisor said that our lab was not going to spend money on this thing. And apparently, they don't work very well. Angie just got from her event. How was it? It was great, networking, um, <laughs> talking and joking. Okay, great. Um, you saw our advisors colleague yeah something they knew each other they Great. work in the same line of research and yep yeah, Arizona yep and now we're gonna get some drinks and then see an aircraft carrier which is a ship Part of that was a lie. We never made it to the aircraft carrier but part of that was also true because we did get the drinks. Allow me to rephrase myself because we did attempt to go to the aircraft carrier. However, on the way there, we had to go through the seaport village. We didn't have to, but we did. And of course, we had to spend more time there. And in fact, we spent all our free time before we had to go back to the conference center. So we got a lot of souvenirs and gifts for friends and family. Oh, I really wanted to get one of these flamingos for my aunt's garden, but they were so expensive that my wallet had to say no. Also, there were a lot of ducks, which all were rightfully suspicious of me. Angie, Jean and I ended up getting matching t-shirts, which you will see later in this video. I also saw these beautiful Christmas tree ornaments and again, very expensive, but gorgeous. And of course, here is more footage of ducks because you can never have too much of that. There was also an ice cream shop. So I got myself a Ben and Jerry's cone. It was yummy, of course. You know, margaritas could not sustain me long enough. So I needed an extra punch of sugar. Later that evening, I was supposed to meet with the Albion College's chemistry department, except they stood me up for dinner. So I joined my friends and we ended up going to Taka Sushi, which was absolutely delicious. Um, we went a little bit rogue and got some yellowtail, got some eel sushi. Um, it, was, it was really, really tasty. Okay, so although the chemistry department stood me up for dinner, they did not stand me up for drinks. So we did meet up later in the night. I did get to see some of my faculty who taught me at LBN. That was nice. And then I got to get to know a little bit better some of the students who were also on the trip there. So that was nice as well. Good morning. It's day three. We are running to see Gian present. Jean, you're gonna do great. We're rooting for you. Woohoo! Also, this is cold in San Diego. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to paradise. <laughs> 
We left shortly after Jean's presentation because the remaining presentations weren't quite applicable for our work. So we proceeded with our day. We went to the other side of the convention center and it was absolutely gorgeous. All the flowers and trees in San Diego deserve a very special place in this log. I was just absolutely fascinated by the diversity of all the flora in San Diego. Most of this footage is for my aunt because she loves plants and she loves gardening and uh, she was the one who took a lot of photos of me as a child with the plants in her garden. We can either blame my aunt or say thank you for taking all those photos because now I am an absolute addict when it comes to taking selfies with plants. Also, I've never seen a bridge to be built partly on a ship. That was really the first time I saw something like this. And of course, a lot of people were walking their dogs. Some got a little bit creative. We returned back to the convention center and reunited with Jean after her session ended. We are on our way to get Thai food. Thai food. Woohoo! Thai Island. Thai Island. Yummy, trust me. <laughs> Hello, we just got Thai food. I changed and I'm going to the afternoon talks. They're gonna be on PFAS, and the girls decided to stay and relax. And then we're going to reconvene in the later evening. Um, but yeah, I'm running a little bit late, but hopefully, it's not too bad. The weather is beautiful, it's actually really, really hot. So I feel like showering all the time, but yeah, I'm really excited to learn a lot about PFAS because, you know, this is what the conference is all for so that we can exchange ideas, network. So I really look forward to getting inspired to see what I can do differently about my work in the lab back in South Bend. Clearly, there's a reason why I was running late, uh, because there were just too many things that I wanted to film on my way to the conference center. So lots of puppy footage and buildings here for you. I'm walking back to the hotel to meet up with the girls. The talks were very useful for my research, I think, especially like the reaction conditions that the researchers were using you know rather than like their analysis itself so it's like I have all these ideas of the conditions that I should be trying out and I understand their reasoning why they tested what they tested so I have a better narrative for my work now and it's a little bit strange to talk about work especially when they're like restaurants outside and people listening but i guess that's what vlogging is i'm craving sugar and especially ice cream and i am an ice cream fanatic so i'm gonna drag everybody out so we can get tasty cones filled with delicious chocolate goods i, I mean ryan reynolds is the best he's my king i know we decided to get dinner at the Gaslamp Fish House. To be honest, this was the tastiest meal that I've had in San Diego. My wish came true that night and we did get ice cream. Hello, it's day four. It's my presentation day. I'm already ready, but it's not until like 4.35 and it's still the morning. So I'll be rehearsing my presentation and that's kind of it. We stopped by at the Chifi Cafe for breakfast slash lunch. It is a dog-friendly cafe and uh, we got a chance to meet Cooper. Hi! 
Oh, wow, wow. noticed that there was a Russian restaurant across the street from the cafe and then very soon our waffles were ready Angie got a sweet one and I had a savory one both were delicious and then it was time for me to get to my session the cursors end up transforming two terminal species I would like to thank my advisor, Dr. Kyle Gowdry, for his continuous support on this project. I would also like to thank Bill Boggess. So I just defended and it was great. I got wonderful questions, met great people. So this is very exciting. Um, can't wait to change, to relax and then continue with our day because it's still very bright outside. But yeah, oh my god, I uh, was so thrilled and so happy to present. So yeah, whew, I am super excited to do it again next year. We are, we are free. free, we are free. <laughs> <laughs> we were all pretty hungry after my session, so we headed back to the hotel, quickly changed, and then it was time for us to go out and have dinner. The girls and I are all going to the Russian restaurant. I personally thought that they did a fantastic job decorating this place. It partially felt like I was inside of the Imperial Russia, but also in a fairy tale. The food was really good. We had a risotto and then we also had uh, pierogi, which are not exactly pierogi in the sense that I understand them, but uh, they're kind of like dumplings filled with potatoes and mushrooms and they're really tasty. The desserts were fantastic and I would love to replicate both of those in my kitchen. <laughs> our last day in San Diego started off with us logging into our Zoom accounts and watching our friends defend their dissertations back in South Bend. Brooke and Sarah defended their dissertations. We're super proud of them. I cried. <laughs> yeah, it was very emotional, but they did so, so well. We we're cheering on for them. Even now, while they're answering hard questions, but they have PhDs. Woohoo! We ended up going to the Chifi Cafe again, this time with Jean since she couldn't join us the first time. And I just decided to get a pastry, so I got an almond croissant. And to be completely honest with you, this was the tastiest, the butteriest, and just the most delicious almond croissant, and just a croissant in general that I've ever had. Our last day in San Diego was free from any conference activities on purpose so we could explore the beautiful nature of San Diego. So we took an Uber and went first to the aquarium and then to the beach. I always remember to bring my student ID so I can get a discount on admission to places like an aquarium or museums. We also went through the gift store because you just cannot not go to the gift store and then we went into the main area of the aquarium where we could see this gorgeous view of the city and the beach you are able to touch all of the animals except for the fish Ooh, it's amazing, right? yeah. exactly uh -huh. and so they all have to... um, in front of you is a green sea anemone but that guy is best to touch on the tentacles on the outside. It's a little hard to stand for multiple hours and, yeah. you know, oh. want, to, ah! want to elevate it. <laughs> but it doesn't actually hurt us or affect us. After we got fully satisfied with touching sea anemones, we actually went into the aquarium and saw different fish species. I am particularly fond of seahorses. I think they're really cool and I remember drawing them in elementary school in an art class. I also enjoyed looking at jellyfish. I think they are so mesmerizing and I can stare at them for hours. They look like a um, lens. Contact lens. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Our next stop was going to be La Jolla Beach. We caught another Uber and got there in under 10 minutes. And just look how beautiful it is out there. And yes, we did see sea lions that were only a few meters away from us. Next step was going to get refreshments. Girls got spicy drinks and I was the only one who couldn't do spice. So mine was just watermelon water. We just got drinks and now we are hiking towards the beach area. We saw a lot of sea lions and different birds. Now I'm full of sugar. Girls are eating spicy sugary drinks. So yeah, but then we are going there. This is where we're going. Also, properties here look incredible. Just look at this. To say that I'm jealous of everybody who has this view is to say absolutely nothing. But I do mean well when I say this. And you see that? Look at that clover. Of course, we ended up seeing dogs on this walk because you just can't spend five minutes in San Diego and not see a dog. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Flowers growing next to the beach are just extra stunning. Just look at these colors. Angie pointed out birds of paradise, which are flowers or plants that look very much like a bird. Here is some more plant footage for you. Oh my God, these smell absolutely amazing. Something smells, I don't know what it is. Mm. these houses please even houses that didn't have a direct view of the ocean still looked gorgeous i assume it's just very very expensive to live here finally made it to the beach and I personally had an absolute blast. it was getting late so we stopped at a local restaurant for some fish tacos and then it was time for us to unfortunately head home that's a wrap thank you so so much for watching this video also thank you to Jean and Angie for assisting me with the camera and I'll see you in the next video bye